Hello. Uh, in our previous class, we have solved this problem. We have ident we have find the natural frequency of this system. In this session, we will try to find the natural frequency of this system. As I said, that here, if I am giving a displacement x to mass m, that x will be a combination of the deformation in first spring and second spring. So, if I am assuming the deformation x1 in the first spring and the deformation x2 in the second spring, there must be a relation between the x, x1 and x2 that can be identified by applying the superposition method. So, what we do in the superposition method? In superposition method, we sequentially consider only one spring as free and other all all other springs considered as the rigid bar so now in this case if uh, these there are two springs i am considering two cases in my first case i am assuming that the k2 is a rigid bar and in the second case i am assuming that the k1 is the rigid bar and there is a free uh, free length is all x2 so now if i will assume the first case please see carefully that in first case if the deformation in this spring is x1 how this deformation will finally transmitted to the displacement of mass m so please see here that if uh, if i will talk in the numbers i will if i will say that there is a 10 cm deformation in this spring so what will happen i have to understand that if the spring is extending by an amount of 10 cm what is the what is the displacement of this center so here if you will see that on the other hand, if I will say that if the center is moved by an amount of 2 cm, suppose, then what is the extension in the string? If it is coming downward in the 2 cm, there must be a 2 cm, 2 cm length required at both the sides. That means if the center is moving by amount of 2 cm, the extension in the spring should be 4 cm. On the other hand, if I am saying that the extension in the spring is x1, the deform the motion of the center will be x1 by 2. That means in this case, if this is moving or this is extending by an amount of x1, my x will be related by x is equal to x1 by 2. Similarly, in the second case, if x2 is the deformation in this spring, definitely the center, this center will move by the amount of x2 by 2. And if this center is moving by an amount of x by 2, the next center will move by an amount of x2 by 4. Please see here that if the suppose the, there is an extension in this string is by of 8 cm. So if it is moving by 8 cm, the center will move by 4 cm. Why? Because I need 4 cm, 4 cm string at both the sides. So the center will move by the amount of half of this value, so 4 cm. As this is moving by 4 cm, this center will again move by half of this value. So the center will move by 4 by 2 means 2 cm. So I can say that if the this spring is moving by an amount of x2, the motion or the displacement of the mass will be 1 fourth of this value. So my x will be x2 by 4 and when I will apply the superposition that means my total x will be combination of these two. So this is my first expression I, I got using the superposition method. Now the second part is the applying the force balance. So force balance in case if you will see my picture here I will find that if there is a tension T here there will be a tension T here and as this is T I am assuming the tension here is T1 and T1. So if I will make the free body diagram of two pulleys, I will find that for the first pulley, here is the mg and t1, t1, let this is t1, t1 and this is t1, so this will be t2, t2 and I know that t will be mg. So using this, I can get that my t1 will be mg by 2 and my t2 will be mg by 4 and I know that this spring is subjected to a force this is t1 and this is t2 the k2 is subjected to force t2 that means the k2 x2 is going to be balanced by t2 and this spring is subjected to tension t1 so this k1 x1 will be t1 so i will get the expression that k1 x1 will be mg by 2 because it is equal to t1 and that k2 x2 will be equal to t2 so that will be mg by 4 by using this i can get this expression so this would be my second expression in my previous class, I already explained you and I said that identifying the 
relation in terms of displacement of the mass in the deformation in the spring and getting an expression between the relation of the k1 and k stiffness and the deformation using the force balance approach are very important to solve this kind of problem now i have already uh, uh, identified these two equations so now i will apply the energy approach in my energy approach what i do in case of energy approach I write the expression of the total energy of my system. I assume that my system is vibrating and for a given instant of time the mass has moved by an amount of x. As the mass has moved by, by an amount of x and it's still it is moving in the same direction and the velocity of mass is defined by x dot and its acceleration is x double dot. So my kinetic energy of mass will be half m x dot square. So this is my kinetic energy expression and as it is moving there is a deformation in both these springs so there will be potential energy in my system so potential energy for first if spring will be half k1 x1 square and similarly half k2 x2 square and the total energy will constant forever so now if i will differentiate my total energy expression i will get one expression so now i am differentiating this expression but i know that this in this expression this is x this is x1 and this is x2 so my first job would be to replace x1 and x2 in terms of x and how we can do that we know these two expression so first i will put the value of x1 using this expression into the first expression and then i will get the value of x1 in terms of x so how we are doing it from the equation 2 i am getting that x2 will be k1 by 2 k2 x1 then I will put this x2 value in my first expression so this is my first expression and then I will get the value of x1 so my x1 is coming out 8k2 4k2 plus k1x when, when I will put this x1 value into this expression I will get the x2 value so now I have x1 and x2 in terms of x I will put this x1 and x2 into my energy equation so finally I will have a one expression where all the terms are in terms of x so this is my expression of total energy half m x dot square half k1 then this x1 has replaced with this value similarly x2 has replaced this value and this is constant when i will differentiate this i will get this expression and this expression says that this value is representing your k equivalent and i know that my natural frequency will be equal to k equivalent by m so when i will put this value here i will get my final expression for the natural frequency of this system thank you